Today I'm going to show you how to have a PTZ camera turn to a preset position based upon motion detection, but this could also be our primitive defender analytic or it could be some other uh, signal tripping the camera to turn to a preset. So today we're just going to talk about motion detection. So I've already set up a motion detection window for this camera to be right in this area. And I've also set the PTZ camera up at a guard tour because the instance in this case, the project I'm working on, the PTZ camera is going to be on a guard tour and they want the PTZ camera to turn to a preset based upon a motion detection. So one of the things you have to have is the Vapix command because we're going to do this through Axis Camera Station. So this is the actual Vapix command. You have the HTTP code, you have the IP address of the camera, uh, here's the additional Vapix command, and then here's the preset. The preset is a position that I created, which is the actual location I want the preset to go to, the uh, PTZ camera to go to, and I just labeled it my name. So you set up that preset within the web interface of the PTZ camera. So I have my preset positions here. You see it's right here. So I'm just pulling it from all these different presets. So I am going to copy this piece of code. If you look in the notes section, you'll be able to copy this code. I've included it. Just change your IP address. This is the IP address of my PTZ camera. And this is the preset position that I want the PTZ camera to go to at the end. Make sure it's copied exactly. Lower cases, upper cases, spaces, no spaces, uh, everything has to be copied exactly. So now, if I go under configuration, recording and events, I'm going to create a new advanced rule. I'm going to add, I'm going to choose motion detection, but you can see you can have many different types of um, triggers. Click OK. I'm going to select my P3225 MPA2. You can see the motion settings here. I have the motion window set up right there. I'm going to click OK. Next, the action is going to be send an HTTP notification. So now I just click paste because I already wrote that code. Click OK. Now I'm going to actually, I'm going to add another rule because you can add multiple rules, you can stack them. I'm going to choose record. I'm going to record the Q61. I'm going to change it to high. So now it's going to turn to a preset and it's going to record. And I click next. It's always going to happen. The rule is PTZ to preset based on motion. Click finish. Close. So now when I get up and walk in front of the store, you're going to see this PTZ camera turn to that preset, and then it's going to return to the guard tour. That is how you have a PTZ camera turn to the preset. So if I get up again, sit back down and it goes back to the guard tour now I'm going to stack on an additional command line so the PTZ is going to go to the preset position it's going to start recording but it's also going to have our C3003 horn speaker play an audio clip so you go back to configuration recording and events Go to our advanced rules. So I already created this PTZ2 preset. If I double click on it, the motion detection is still going to be the trigger. Click next. So I have one rule as go to the preset on the, the PTZ to the preset, record the Q6114 E. Now I'm going to add an additional HTTP command. This is the command line to have an audio clip play. 
So I'm going to go over the details of this in a second, but I'll just click tab S. Okay. Click next, always. And let's rename it PTZ to preset, record, audio, clip. Click finish, close. So this is the Vapix command right here that I just used. So you have the IP address of the speaker horn, the Vapix command itself, and here's the clip number. So to so get the clip number, this is the Vapix command to get the clip number. So what I would do here is type in 192.168.1.23. I would copy this. Then if I put it in here, which is what you see here, it'll bring up the audio clips and what clip number it is. So you can see right here you have media clip. So media clip 19, trespassing. So you just put in clip equals 19. Again, use the exact command line. All you're doing here is you're changing the IP address and you're changing the clip number but make sure everything is lowercase, uppercase, no spaces, or exactly how I have it here. And go to the notes section of this YouTube channel, this YouTube video, to copy and paste that command line. So now, when I stand up and I trip this motion zone here, the PTZ cam is gonna turn and the speaker horn is gonna play. You can hear the speaker horn going off and the PTZ cameras return to guard tour. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions, leave a comment at the bottom.